when I buy a phone and when I know it's mine, I like to use it my way. And sometimes that's only possible by rooting a device. So for people out there like me, this is the rooting tutorial of the Moto G5 Plus. Make sure you watch the complete video till the end so that you don't miss on anything important for a successful root access. Having said that, if you love tech videos and don't mind honest reviews, make sure you click that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for when there are any exclusives that you don't want to miss. Hey guys, I'm Abhi and you're watching Techsplicit. Let's get started. Before we continue with the tutorial, I want to mention that rooting your device is risky and only start the process if you exactly know what you're doing and continue at your own risk. I also suggest you watch the complete video once before you start rooting to get an exact idea of all the requirements, after which you can parallelly root your device by pausing the video whenever required. I've also pasted the links for all the files that you need in the description below. Now download and install the minimal ADB fast boot on your PC. So to start the process, first you need to have an unlocked bootloader. If you don't have an unlocked bootloader, check my video to unlock the bootloader on the G5 Plus. And if you already have the bootloader unlocked, the next thing I suggest is back up your data and files as they will be lost in the procedure of routing. I also recommend a factory reset of the phone once before starting the route and this is optional. So having said that, start off by downloading the TWRP file and renaming it as recovery and paste the same in the minimal ADB directory that you've installed earlier. Now boot your Moto G5 Plus into bootloader screen by pressing the volume down and power button simultaneously and then flash TWRP by opening the minimal ADB window and typing the command fastboot flash recovery recovery.img and click enter. Once it is done, now type the command fastboot boot recovery.img and click enter and this should boot your device into TWRP recovery. Once the device loads into TWRP, in the decrypt slash data screen, press cancel. Then swipe the alarm modifications button. Once it is done, go to wipe, then swipe on, swipe to factory reset tab. Once it is done, come back to TWRP main menu, go to reboot, then click on recovery, then on do not install. This should boot your phone into TWRP again. Once it is done, swipe on the swipe to allow modifications tab and plug your phone into PC and copy the encrypt 5.1 zip file as well as the magisk 11.6 zip file to the internal storage on your phone. Now once you're on TWRP, click on install and flash encrypt 5.1 zip which you've copied in the device earlier and once it is done, come back to TWRP main menu, go to reboot click on system and then on do not install. This will reboot your phone and once it is switched on, boot your phone to recovery mode from the bootloader again and swipe on swipe to allow modifications tab. Now flash magisk 11.6 zip. If you're not able to find it then like earlier copy it once again to the internal storage and then flash it from TWRP. Once it is done and like I said make sure you only download the version 11.6 and flash the same. Once done, come back to TWRP main menu by clicking on back, go to reboot, click on system and then on do not install and this will reboot your device. That's it. Once the device is rebooted, you have a rooted device and you can check the same by installing root checker. Personally on my device, updating magisk to the latest version is revoking the root access. So if there is anyone else facing the same problem, I suggest not to update magisk and just leave it in the version that you've installed earlier. Once the device gets root access, everything works perfectly normal and personally for me there are no new bugs because of the rooting procedure. So that's it guys, use the comment section below to pen anything that is useful to others in TechSplicit. Like and share the video and do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updated as soon as the next video is live on TechSplicit. This is Abhi, over and out.